Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So my name is Kelsey and part of my channel, I do Crow Music Lab tutorials. So I wanna start off with 2023 with a new Crow Music Lab tutorial. And I wanted to do Antihero by the one and only T-Swift. It's popular on TikTok. Many people have been using it as a sound on there and on reels and shorts so on all of it it's a great song i like the song personally so i thought you know we have a lot of t swift fans out there that also love this song and love her new album midnights so i thought let's do another tutorial so if this is your first time seeing me please hit that subscribe button down below and the bell so that you are notified of when new tutorials come out on my channel and to also give this video a thumbs up because it does support me and this channel. And I also want to share on here that if you want all the Crow Music Lab song links that I have on my channel and in my TPT store for free, I would highly encourage you to join in on my YouTube memberships where you get access to a free link every month. And you also get special lives and you get behind the scene features of how I write these songs, all my tutorials. So... If you've ever been curious about that, please sign up for those down below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dig right into this tutorial. So now when we open up Song Maker, the first thing we're gonna go is to our settings. Now with our settings, right, it's gonna be a little bit different. So for our length, we're gonna do 10 bars. So you're gonna click up to 10. And we're going to still stay with four beats per bar. So that still stays the same. And then we're going to do split beats into four, as you see here. Now, when we move over here to this section, we're actually going to stay in major. And then we're actually going to start on middle G. I know, for like the majority of my tutorials, we usually stay on middle C. But we are changing it up. Uh, so... For all my music theory nerds out there, you know, this is in the key of G for anti-hero. So that's what we're going to stick to, you know. But anyway, and we're also going to do three octaves. We're going to expand upon all the octaves for this tutorial. So just so you know, you can always pause at any point during the song. So that way you got everything lined up with the tutorial. But... Once you have your settings just like this that you see here, you're going to click on that blue check mark that you see here. So next step is actually going to be the tempo. Now we are actually going to go and click on it and do 100 beats per minute. So it is a little bit slower than the factory setting tempo, but that's okay. Once you'll hear it, you'll, you'll see why. And then instead of marimba, we like to do piano. We're going to stick with that. Now, if this is your first time seeing one of my tutorials, how I like to demonstrate how to write the song on Crow Music Lab is I usually work from bottom to top. So, and there's a lot of chords and there's a lot of moving bass lines that add flavor to the melody of my Crow Music Lab tutorials to make it more interesting rather than just hearing the melody. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to input some percussion, some beats into the song. There's like a repeating uh, percussion motif going on in Antihero. So we're going to put that in first before we actually start writing music for Antihero. So what does that look like? So first thing we're going to actually do. So when we get into this first bar, you're going to hit the bottom circle. So circle, skip circle circle like so and then when we go into the next bar we are going to skip it completely but then when you move on to the next bar we're going to do that same pattern again so it's going to be circle skip circle circle and then we're actually going to then be moving in to the next measure so that's going to be like a different colored section that you'll see here on the screen and we're going to be repeating the same pattern Again, so that's circle, skip, circle, circle, skip a bar, circle, skip, circle, circle. And we're going to be doing that throughout the entire 
the, throughout the entire song. So while I am doing that, I want to quickly share with you before we actually move on to putting in the chords and harmonies and melodies into this tutorial. Did you know that I do have Chrome Music Lab song links? However, it's for a small fee in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. So, you know, maybe maybe for you, you're watching my tutorials and you're thinking, uh, you know, I just may need a little more help than watching the videos. So, you know, or maybe you just simply want the link, you know, either way, as long as you're not, you know, using my song links to pass it off as one of like a school project, you know, just on our system, you know, then I have a small fee for my links that you can purchase in my Teachers Pay Teacher store because she may have noticed it does take a lot of time and effort for me to do these tutorial videos and to write the songs and figure out what goes where on Chrome Music Lab for you guys. And so it's just a small compensation for the link. Most links I sell are usually for a dollar and then I have packs that go for a little bit cheaper on there. So I highly encourage you to check that out in the description box if you are just wanting the link. It helps support the channel as well. But either way, you know, if you can do the tutorial, obviously watch the video all the way through because that's also helping me in my channel as well. All right, moving on, we got our percussion beats. As you may see here, they're just repeating uh, beat motif sections. So it's the same all the way through. So nothing special. Now, now here's the deal. Now we're going to get into writing the notes of the music. And because we are in a different key, the colors of where these, of where the squares are, are going to be different than what's typically in my Chrome Music Lab tutorials, because the majority of my tutorials are going to be in that middle C. So make sure in the settings you are on middle G, because the placement of the, the colors and the squares on here are gonna be very, very different than if they were on middle C. So double check, make sure it's on middle G, as mentioned before, because otherwise, you know, you may be putting in certain colors and you're like, why does this color not match? So here, I'll show one more time. So in the settings, it should be middle G, middle G, not middle C, middle G, all right? Make sure you're on middle G because otherwise what I'm about to show you is not going to make sense and you're going to get frustrated and I don't, I don't want that for you, friend, okay? So make sure, middle G. Okay, now let's get on with the bottom octave, so that very bottom first octave for the song. So this is where we're going to be filling in some of the chords and some of the harmonies. So you may also notice... Some of you that may be coming back and watching some of my tutorials, you know how this goes. It may not make a lot of sense at first, but once you see, once we add everything together, it'll make all the sense in the world. So, first thing we're going to do. So, on this very first bar, so that first split beat, go up one, two, three, four to the red. So on that fourth square, we're actually going to start on that red. Now you see where the red's in the middle and not at the bottom? That's because we're starting in middle G. Okay, now let's move on to the next bar. We're then in the next bar, we're actually going to skip three. So one, two, three. So then we start into a new section. And in that new section, we're going to go up one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be orange right here. And then in the next bar, we're actually going to skip the two first split beats. So one, two. So here, right just above that orange is going to be yellow. We're going to skip, go into the new bar, add another yellow here, like so. And then we're going to do this one more time. In the next bar, we're going to add another yellow. So this is what you should have so far for your tutorial. Now we're moving on to a new section where we are gonna then add that red back on here. 
So I know it again, I know it doesn't look like much now. Keep going. It'll make sense in the end. So now we are going to be doing the same thing, pretty similar as that first section again. So we have that lonely red, skip three bars to the new section. So one, two, three. So here is the new section where we go from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, to that orange. And then in the next bar, it's going to be skip two split beats, yellow, skip, yellow, into the next bar, we got that yellow again. So it's almost pretty identical to what we just did at, at the very beginning. So a lot of these pop artists like to repeat a lot of the same motifs. So they, they like to repeat a lot of things. So I guess whatever works. I guess whatever works, you know what I mean? So now we go on to a new section here where then we're going to repeat that same thing again. So red, now this is where it's going to be a little bit different. In this next bar here, we skip two split beats, one, two, add that yellow. All right, and then we're gonna skip the next two bars, one, two, and that's where we're gonna start a new section. And in that new section, we're gonna go from the bottom, one, two, three, four, orange right here. And then in the next bar, skip two split beats, one, two, add that yellow. I know, super exciting. Again, it'll make sense in the end. But now we're gonna skip the next two bars and start in the new section that you see here. So this is the new section where we're gonna one, two, three, add another red, and then we're gonna skip the next three bars. And then this is where it's gonna change a little bit when we start into a new section. So in that next section, one, two, three, four, orange, skip, and then that green. So we got we got some chord action going on here. So you'll see more of it when we get into the higher octaves. So once we got those two notes, we go on to the next bar where we skip two split beats. One, two, add a yellow here. Again, I know it's it's exciting, but trust the process. So we're moving on to the next section. And in that next section, add another yellow. And then in the next bar, we skip two split beats again. One, two, add another yellow. And in the next bar, skip two split beats again. One, two, add an orange. Now we're gonna skip this next bar. So then we get into this final section here where we are then going to go one, two, pink and then one two three that regular green and then in the next bar skip two split beats one two add that red here so i know it doesn't look like much but we're going to keep going so you'll see as we continue to add on more things you will see you know why i add these on here it it just it just makes musically more sense to do it this way so now that we got our bottom uh, octave we're gonna go scroll all the way back into the beginning and then we're gonna add more filler notes so this is where then we're gonna go above to the second octave and this is where we're gonna start adding more more flavor more color so in the second octave so you see that blue line that divides the second and the third octave so we're just going to go down one to the yellow that you see here so then we're going to move on to the next bar where then we're going to skip two split beats in that bar one two go all the way down to where you see the dark green skip dark green now above that dark green add a yellow on top of that 
and moving right into the next bar, add another dark green. Now, we're moving on to a new section, and in that new section, go all the way to that very top of the second octave, where it's that regular green, so regular green, skip, regular, regular. And then it goes on to the next bar where we skip, regular green, step down, yellow, skip, and then go into the new bar, yellow. All right. And then into the next bar, we're going to skip two split beats, one, two, where we have orange. So then we start a new section. And that's where we're going to start with yellow in that new section. And it'll be pretty similar to the beginning, again, because like I said, there's a lot of repeating things that happen in pop songs. So, get into the next bar where we skip two split beats again and do dark green, skip, dark green. Above the second dark green is the yellow. And then moving on to the next bar, you're gonna add that dark green, like so. Then we start a new section, and guess what? We get to do the same pattern again. Go all the way to the very top of that octave. Regular green, skip, regular, regular, skip, regular green, step down, yellow, skip, yellow. So we got that whole little motif action going on here. So now, this is where it's going to get really fun with the new section that you'll see here. So in this new section, we are actually going to be skipping a lot because this is where part of the chorus is actually going to be in the third octave and then leading down to the second octave. So we're actually going to be skipping quite a bit. <laughs> so in that new section, we actually won't start adding a note until the very last bar of this section here and on the very last split beat. So you'll see how there's different shaded areas. So we have this section here and then we start a new section and there's four bars, one, two, three, four, and then split beats. So now we got that regular green at the very end. So if you need to pause at any point, remember you can pause at any point just to make sure everything's in check. So now, we only just have that one note for the second octave, but then we're going to go into a new section where we skip, green, green, skip, green, skip, green, green, skip, green, green, skip, green. All right, again, you can pause at any point. I know that was a lot of uh, skips and a lot of greens. So... After this last green, we're gonna skip again and add two yellows down here like so. Now we start a new section where we skip the first two ble uh, beats, sorry, <laughs> bleats, <laughs> bleat bleats. So skip to the first two split beats, one, two, go down, orange. Skip in the new bar, orange, skip, orange, orange. Now, this first orange here the, with the two oranges together, make sure to go all the way down and add a dark green below there like so. In the next bar, we're skipping two split beats. One, two, go down one where it is two reds together like so. And the next bar, skip two split beats again. One, two, step down one, the pink. And then we move on to a new section where we step down one more time. So that dark purple, skip, purple, skip, purple, skip, purple, purple. And then in the next bar, we skip two, one, two, skip, uh, purple, 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 skip, go all the way down, green. Now, with the way that I wrote this song is... On Chrome Music Lab is where at the very end there's going to be what's called a pickup note. So that way, anytime you listen to this, you know, it just picks up 
um, like in a loop. It just makes sense musically. So here we got a little bit of some filler music that we're going to be putting here at the end. So in the next section, go one, two, three, red, skip, go down, pink, skip, go down, purple, skip, go down, dark green. So kind of like a scale. And then we're going to skip a bar. And then in this next bar, got another green, skip, go up two to pink. And then we start a new section where we add the dark purple. And then in the next bar, skip two split beats, one, two, dark green at the end. And then what you're going to do is we're now going to go into the final octave. So you can pause and take a listen if you like. Like I said, it, it's not going to make sense still because we still got one more octave that we got to fill in. But once you fill in that last octave, it's going to make all the sense in the world. So let's go ahead. Let's get on to that final octave so that way we can complete the song. So make sure you grow all the way back to the beginning and scroll all the way to the top to the third octave. So now in that third octave, we're going to start one, two, pink. And then we're going to skip the next bar. So then in that third bar here at the beginning, add another pink. Now we start into the new section here. And you remember how we did a lot of these regular greens? Well, we're going to start with purple. And it's going to be skip, purple, purple, skip, purple. So they kind of line up with those regular greens. Those are some of the chords that we're building on here. Now, after this purple, we're going to go down at that dark green, skip, dark green. So see what I mean? So we got... All right. So those are just some of the, the, the first two measures <laughs> that we wrote. So you hear that it starts making sense. So let's now go into the next section. So we're now moving on to the next section. And this is where we're going to be repeating what we just did at the beginning. So in that third octave, one, two, we got pink. We skip the next bar, add another pink, as you see here. And then Oh, look, we got the same pattern in the next section. And that's going to be with the purple, skip, purple, purple, skip, purple, and then step down, dark green, skip, dark green. Sorry, <laughs> that was an accident. So that's what we got. Now what we're going to be doing is in this next section, right, where it looks like there's not a whole lot, this is where all the action is happening. It's going to happen in the third octave. So now we're going to be starting on the first bar, but on the third split beat. So one, two, skip here. And this is where we're going to add green and then one above the pink. So we got that skip and the next bar, dark green, pink. Again, skip, green, green, pink, pink, like so. Now, next bar, skipping two split beats again. Same thing here. In the next bar, we're going to add pink and green, skip, pink and green. And then right at this final split beat that matches up with the regular green in the second octave is that purple. Now, we're moving on to that new section where all these regular greens are going to match up Purple, purple, skip, purple, skip, purple, purple, skip, purple, purple, skip, purple. So it lines up with that green, like you see here. Now, we're going to do the same thing with the yellow, but it's going to be with dark green, like you see here. Now, get this. We're basically done with the third octave, except... Go all the way to the very end. Now, in the very end, on this very last bar, 
All right, but so in that third split beat right here, so where my arrow is, that's gonna be our pickup note. So let's now take a listen at Antihero. So you see how I had that pickup right at the very end? So that way, if you wanted to put it on a loop for the chorus, it makes sense to have that pickup note at the end. So that is Antihero by VT Swift on Chrome Music Lab. So I really, really hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any other suggestions, feel free to leave those comments down below. However, if you join in on my YouTube memberships where you get a free Chrome Music Lab link every month, your suggestions get priority for my next tutorials on my channel. So no pressure, of course. However, you know, if you want to see your tutorial, <laughs> you know, for one of my next videos, you know, you get priority when you get one, one of those memberships. And who doesn't want a free Chrome Music Lab link? You know what I'm saying? Who doesn't want to know the behind the scene features of how I write these songs on Chrome Music Lab that I'm not I'm not going to share publicly on my channel. So I'm happy to do these tutorials for you, of course. So just so you know, if you want those insider scoops, you can sign up for that down below. And of course, if you got to the end of the tutorial, thank you so much for watching. And if you try to do the tutorial and you're like, uh, this is just too much, where is the link? Of course, that link, you can purchase it down below in the description box along with my other Chrome Music Lab song links and tutorials that are available on my channel as well. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.